Welcome to this video on the BEC trend. In this video, I'm going to show you the tricks that are used by students to get one in BEC, but they don't communicate or tell others. Now, they do this unconsciously, and as a teacher, I have studied how most students write their core mathematics exam and do certain things other students would not do. Now, the basic education certificate examination for school candidates, that is junior high schools, is an exam written to help you enter the senior high school. Now, I believe you will choose a school and then you would be willing to get your first choice. But core mathematics is one of the subjects which scare most students. Later in this video, I'm going to show you the main reason why most students fail in the core mathematics. As I've said earlier, with my experience in teaching, I have noticed a common trait among students who do not do well in core mathematics. And I'm just going to show you that. So I'll urge you to watch this video till the end. After you're done watching this video, you will know where you are falling short in your core mathematics if you're in JHS or even if you are in any level where you are learning mathematics and you're having issues with mathematics. I'm also going to show you a strategy you can use to finish your mathematics paper before time, be it objectives or section B. And you can apply this strategy to any mathematics exam you are writing, and you will definitely finish before time. Even if you're already good in mathematics and then you want something to add to what you already know, this video is for you. First of all, I want to talk about how to prepare. If you don't prepare to do anything, it means that you're actually preparing to fail. So preparation is very important. So the first thing you do is solve lots of questions. Go through past questions, otherwise you are not done. Now, those who prepare for war, train for the war, and they go through vigorous training in order to be able to succeed or win in the war. So what are you, what are you going to do? You are going to write a core mathematics exam. So the best thing to do is solve lots of questions. The reason why most students do not solve questions is because they are afraid they might not get it correct or they are always disturbed if they are not able to get the questions right. So what you do is, once you are solving questions, you have someone there to help you or guide you. Or even if you just have your test, make sure there are answers you can refer to after you are done solving. Most students think they are a failure if they make mistakes. Now, the reason why you make mistakes at the beginning is so that you can be corrected and never to repeat them again. With a BEC, you should solve the past questions to get acquainted with how the questions are set. Otherwise, you are not done with a particular topic. When you are done studying a topic, go to the past questions to make sure you are done. Because, you know, those who set the exam questions are not those who write the textbooks. So, practice solving a full question under 15 minutes. So, when you are solving the past questions, practice it because that's what you are going to do during the exam. If you spend too much time on one question, you might not finish and then you're not be able to get the great you want. Get rid of thoughts of weakness in a particular topic. There are times when you are discouraged maybe by your teacher or by a friend because you are not good in a particular topic. You see, when you accept that, it means you don't want to move forward. Your mental power is under your control, not under anybody's control. So don't accept the fact that you are not good in a particular topic. Otherwise, you need to seek help with the aim of making progress. You need to have a, a mindset of progress and then a mind to change and improve. Don't think that some students or some people were created and they have the talent to always get it right. No, they make it, they put in some effort. A man who is not trained but talented, if he's given the tools, is a, is a dangerous person. So, as I mentioned earlier in the video, these people who are very good, employ certain tricks and techniques in order to be able to get the max they get. So that's what this video is here to show you. So don't accept the thought that you are not good. If you, if you open your mouth and say, I don't like, if you say, I don't like mathematics, don't expect to get a good grade in it. Begin to like it. Tell yourself you like it. And then begin to appreciate mathematics. Have a good night's rest before taking the exams. Mostly students would spend the night sitting by the book and sometimes with an advice. Now, this is the wrong way of writing exam because before any athlete goes out for the actual race, 
he sleeps to relax his whole body. Now the brain also needs rest. So if you go tired, how do you expect to produce the best results? So the core mathematics BEC comprises of the objective as well as the session B. What you need in order to be able to solve the objective test as well as the session B. So your mathematical set, make sure it is stocked, it has everything in it. All the rules and then the pencils, the eraser, you have that, as well as a 30 centimeter rule. And I'll show you why you should use a 30 centimeter rule instead of a 15 centimeter rule. So the, with the objective test, how to finish before time. Questions which are less time consuming should be solved first. No one is going to penalize you for solving number 20 first or number 15 first. So when you are giving the question paper, don't just begin and then start solving, no. Take your time, look through it. And there are certain questions which are not very time consuming. Solve those ones first. Certain questions, you just need to do a little multiplication or addition. Maybe a, just a little board mass. When you look at the question, you just know that this question, you don't spend so much time on it. So solve those questions which are less time consuming first. So you begin go through, maybe number one is going to be time consuming. Just leave it. That's for the objective test. Just leave it and move on to the next one. Move on, move on to question 40. Make sure you've solved all those questions which are less time consuming. Before you now come back and you know certain questions, you can grade them that this question, it might take your time but not so much. Then you spend your time, then you move on to the, those type of questions. Now there are certain questions when you try solving them, you're not getting answers. Don't spend too much time on them, just leave them. What are you doing? You're fueling your strength. Yes. So you are giving time to those questions you know you can get, you can solve and then get them right. Before you now focus on questions which would take so much of your time. So before you even finish the exam, you know that you know the score you are going to hit. And it's definitely going to be a good score because as you are watching this video, I'm just going to give you the best tips in order to be able to master the core mathematics. So go through the questions again to solve questions which have not been attempted. So as I mentioned, picking those questions which are easier to solve, you have to make sure you go through, otherwise you will leave some unsolved. So with the section B, firstly go through the questions to see the ones which you can confidently solve and then do them first. Prioritize compulsory questions and solve the ones you know you can solve first. So a priority should be on the compulsory ones because those that, that side, you need to get the max from that side. And even with the compulsory ones, look through to solve the one you can solve first, as you did in the objectives. Move on to the optional and attempt questions that you are comfortable with first as well. Because no, no, no examiner is thinking about how you have the ability to solve difficult questions. No. They just want you to be able to solve the ones you can solve. Solve questions which are calculation intensive first. Yes. Drawings such as graphs and construction should be answered last. One thing about drawings is you don't know your outcome, you don't know how it's going to look like. So you might end up making a mistake somewhere and you will just be confused. So with the drawings, with the graph and the construction, the geometric construction, do them last. Don't spend more than 15 minutes on one question at the session this side. So you should be able to time yourself or the clock in the room or your watch. This is the most important part. I will talk about to any student who has issue with mathematics. You know, anything you are learning, any new thing you are going to learn has something it depends on. And with mathematics, if you lack the basics, you are sunk. Now, these are the basics. You learn some from the primary school to the upper primary before you get to the junior high. For example, I realize that most students who have issue with mathematics don't know this example the long division multiplication and division of decimals now in the with the BEC you are not allowed to use calculators so you should be able to do or perform simple mathematical operations 
for addition and subtraction you are all good with that so long division and then multiplication of division and so if you are watching this video i will urge you to take action look at these topics i've written here and then write the ones you are not very good with because even when you get to senior high school you are going to write your wasi if you don't have in-depth knowledge in this you will struggle with mathematics and mathematics shouldn't be a topic you struggle with so integers that is your positive your negative adding positive number to negative number you should know your way out fractions you should know your board mass you know how to find lcm algebraic expression multiplication of algebraic expression addition subtraction and factorization how to factorize the quadratic equation then linear equation how to solve linear equation for example how to make a subject change of subject as well how to find hcf and lcm ratio and proportion your standard form converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions as well as multiplication of binomials so make sure you master these topics before you move on to other topics you are concerned about now see that these are the topics to watch out for so first of all area perimeter of solid and then plane figures plane geometry as well word problem statistics geometric construction indices linear transformation bearing and vectors and percentages and before I show you the general tips these topics are very important because they are always dropped almost every year but the basics should be your priority if you are concerned about these topics I will urge you to go back and then watch the part where I mentioned the basics again and get those ones very well before you move on to this because without in-depth knowledge in the basics you might not understand some of these and then complain that mathematics is difficult mathematics is interesting before the video ends I will tell you why it's easier to get distinction in mathematics than other subjects so now general tips learn all from line know the units of quantities to be calculated for you know the units for area no units for perimeter and speed velocity and any other quantity you are going to calculate for when you think you know a particular topic but you keep messing up leave that question and get back to it after solving others so you know a particular topic very well but you keep making mistakes leave it and then solve other questions and come back to it for graph works indicate your x and y axis and then your scale as well don't spend too much time on a particular challenging question just move on and then get back to it later all drawings should be done in pencil don't you spend on a graph sheet that is the great part for the green lines now before i give you the conclusion i'll say that don't when you are giving your answer booklet try as much as possible to solve the questions you know earlier because when the examiner opens the paper and sees that you have left a lot of spaces in it it gives him a perception that you might not be a good student you might not so solve questions you know how to solve at the beginning now i mentioned that i was going to show you why it's easier to get distinction in mathematics than any other subject with the reading subjects you know what you have in mind could be different from what the examiner has in mind although it could be the same thing and it should sound or it should it should be a standard way of answering the questions with the reading part but with mathematics if the answer is let's say one you could use a different formula could use a different formula we'll all arrive at one so it's easier to have distinction in mathematics than any other subject thank you for watching this video till the end if you found this video helpful i'll urge you to subscribe and then tell your friends about what you've learned comment in the comment section what you are going to begin practicing or what you have learned from this video so that when others see it they will also be inspired to also take action my name is sir prince keep studying by yourself thank you